hello full viewers welcome back to my channel and i am your host dona today i am going to make a mini quilling christmas tree here i have got some quilling strips i didn't have quilling strips uh, with me so i have made these quilling strips from my rectangular dies so the measurement of these quilling strips are of 21 cm in length and 2 mm in width some thermocol glitter balls red and golden in color twine quilling tool this is a wooden base this measures 8 cm in diameter i have got some scallop die cutouts so the biggest one is of 8 cm and the smallest one is of 5 cm and this green one is of 3 cm foam rectangular sheet uh, this measures 2 by 7.5 cm glue and hot glue to start making the Christmas tree, the very first thing I will be doing is attaching this green scallop die cut out on this wooden frame. Here I will be using liquid glue mostly. On top I will be using this red scallop die cut out. The circular die cut outs are all of from 176 GSM paper. But this is totally optional, whatever is available with you, you can use that paper. Uh, if you do not have a die, you can use circular shape, you can make it by yourself. This I will keep aside to let it dry. Taking the green quilling strips, I will start making this flower petal with this quilling strips. I rolled the quilling strips and then I released it. It took its own shape. I didn't do anything till now. Now I am pinching it from the center and then from the two ends and it has come to a shape like this. It's called an eye shape. I will be making eight of this shape. Four with the darker shape and four with the lighter green shapes. I have already made eight of these petals which I will be arranging now on this 3 cm circular cutout. So for that I will again be needing my liquid glue. This needs some time for drying. Like this flower I have made eight more flowers over here and as you can see flowers are of all different size this is the biggest which i have made out of two and a half quilling strips here i have got eight flower petals next biggest is made out of two strips then comes 1.5 the smaller ones are made with one strips and here if you can see i have made some even smaller with six petals instead of eight and this one is of four petals which is the smallest and made out of half of quilling strip now taking my scissors i will be cutting off this extra part which is visible and i have cut down the extra green parts which is now not visible anymore so now comes the assembling or the arranging part so here i will be taking the biggest one for the base taking my liquid glue here I will be applying little bit more glue so that it sticks very nicely. Look at the arrangement carefully. The gaps should be filled with the top petals. So only this one has uh, different shades if you can see. I did not intend to make it different but yes actually I had this leftover four quilling strips so I thought of using it so this will anyway be in the middle so it will not be visible it's just a filler and my Christmas tree is ready isn't it looking pretty I think it is now taking this strip, I will make a roll out of this strip. I will be applying some hot glue towards one side and start rolling it. I will be applying hot glue on the other end as well. And 
this base will go on top of the red side we are cut out this and then the whole tree will be placed on this part if you can see the tree this arrangement is looking fine a little bit here and there but otherwise the gaps are all filled mostly here I have made two gift boxes so I will show you how I made that we will be taking three quilling strips and I will start rolling one by one now I am pressing from two sides and pinching on the two other ends then pressing it hard from that two ends and then again pressing like this and it has come to a shape of a square here I have used three but here also I have used three quilling strips but I think I have released it a little bit more that's why it has got a little bigger but that's okay. Now taking this twine and taking it a little bit more than usually needed for tying up these tiny boxes because I need a little bit more longer thread or twine to tie up something so small. Taking my scissors, I will cut this extra part. And my tiny, tiny boxes are ready. Now this has also dried out nicely. So here I will be making the top part of the Christmas tree. For that I will be using two quilling strips of two different colors. tight coil now I will be placing this one on top of the Christmas tree Christmas sentiment where it is handwritten Merry Christmas so this one also I want to place somewhere here so let me place this one first and then I will arrange these boxes so now I have got the idea where I will be placing these gift boxes Taking these balls, I will be placing here and there on the Christmas leaves, just a little bit randomly. I'm thinking of placing a little bit of balls here and there at the base. This makes my project complete. If you can see, I have added Wink of Stella brush on this Merry Christmas sentiment and on the leaves as well, mostly on the darker shades so that it gives a nice glittery effect. And little bit on this gift boxes as well. So this is looking really amazing and I'm very happy with the outcome. Hope you have enjoyed this video. And please do try back at home. I'm sure you will enjoy making this Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, bye and take care.